All right, um, here is another terrain that I just completed. This is a Cawdor factory. So as you can see, we have the symbol right there signifying who this belongs to. Um, this was a really fun terrain to make. Once again, it's very versatile. Um, these walls are all detachable and can be placed in different areas. Um, they, these they can walls, make corridors too. Yeah, sure well that. this is an example oh, of a corridor right here. And these are just detachable walls that you can place anywhere. So you can make longer corridors, shorter ones, wherever you want. Um, like I said, a lot of movable pieces, the stairs. Oh. <laughs> Close up. That. Um, the ramps. And then the actual pieces themselves. If we move some of these pieces, it also break apart and can be moved in different ways. So a lot of mobility here. Um, one of my favorite pieces are these guys because I made them out of very unconventional materials and so I was really proud of myself for making them look, I think, legit. They do. But yeah, and just a lot of movable pieces, pipes Seems going like a on. Control panel thing with buttons. Control panel here, because okay. this is an active factory. This isn't one that's been run down. So, little station right there, and then these There's are the also like electrical cords. Right, because we got to get this thing adds powered. Adds a little splash, and this. And then this is where we imagine that they would pull up to unload things, set them on this Can track right here. Can we actually get that on the track? Okay, show, show that, so this actually moves along the yeah, track. Yeah, so you can put your cargo, that whatever is, you're moving right, onto your jacks, the assembly line. Right, and then right this here. is a thing. This doesn't move, but it's supposed to be like a conveyor belt. Right. Right, okay, great. Oh, that is brilliant. That's that, and this, do, this does go on here. I know it does. There you go. Okay, here you go. I got it to go on. So there, that rolls along. That is neat. Yeah, so as an so expansion to this set, it'd be, it'd be great to do two of these sets. Then yeah, you could really, really fill exciting. a four by four area. Yeah, because this have, set is actually like, for a table that already has a lot of pieces on it. Right. So it was kind of only like a half of what it's. Like and and this is fine. This is a, this is an example of where we just made one area particularly dense. Exactly. And um, yeah, but it has the requisite number of pieces and detail for a middle of the range set like we do. Yep. And uh, yeah, I love this though. What would really be great would be to do a duplicate or maybe something even three times this size where we make it like a whole train that pulls that up. That would be cool. That would, that would be, be really, awesome. really cool. I'd love to make something like that. So. All right, thank you very much. All right, That's All right, so we put some models on here just so you could see the scale. So, ah, it looks, it looks bigger now, huh? Yeah. That it uh, has figures actually on it. That's what those guys look like. Probably three or four inches. This um, is my favorite, there. though. Yeah, he's he's been sent in for repair, and uh, he's just trundling along the assembly line there. All right, all right, that's really fantastic. Thanks a lot, Elise.